Um, this looks like this chance is better than what you had before. So, um, but it also like, uh, don't forget, we also do have uh, Joe Miller running also second time for him to run too as well. So, um, anyway, we want to talk about what's your what is your difference between you and Debbie Wash? What separates you from you from Debbie Wash Michelle's and yourself? What what what's the two key factors that separates you and Debbie Wash Michelle's? Go ahead, Joe Kaufman. But if you take away the policies, uh, there's a lot of other things that separate us as well. And, and one of those things that is very big for for our district is the fact that Debbie Watson and Schultz is the head of the DNC. Right. She's at the same time as she's a congresswoman. And and uh, and I don't believe and I know a good number of her constituents don't believe that she could do both jobs at once. You know, I, I understand she's a She's a teaching fundraiser at the, mm -hmm. at the head of the DNC. Right. Um, if that's her job, then maybe if she does that well, then maybe she should do that job and release herself from her duties as as a uh, as a congresswoman because she can't do both jobs at once. She can't she can't she can't look after the the uh, the problems and concerns of of, the, of her constituents at right. the same time. As travel around the country trying to raise raise money for for a thousand other candidates, Democratic candidates, she can't right. do both at once. And I think that's a huge difference between myself and her. I'm in the community. I'm fighting for the constituents. I've gotten involved with a number of, of issues and concerns regarding mm -hmm. the constituents. And uh, she's around the country trying to raise money for the Democratic Party. That's a major difference between us. Right. So, and I know she also voted for Obamacare, and, you know, it's ridiculous. She voted for Obamacare. She voted for a stimulus. She's done, uh, she's done so much fraud against this, against this, uh, uh country. It just, is just outrageous. The record is, speaks for itself. She, yeah, go ahead. She not only voted, she not only voted for Obamacare, but she was essentially the spokesperson for Obamacare. Right. She she told the same lie that the president did, telling people that they could keep their that they could keep their plan. Uh, even when right. the president apologized for for lying to the American public, she went on national television and said it wasn't a lie that you could still keep your plan. And obviously, that's that's not true. A lot of people um, lost their their plans, and, and a lot of people so far have been harmed. By, uh, by Obamacare, right. um, seniors included. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more uh, people harmed in the very near future. Right. This is, and this is very scary for this country, too, as well, because what Obamacare has done... Uh, to not just to this country, but also to look what happened to Israel for crying out loud. I mean, we should, we should support Israel, and I'm not seeing anything done at all whatsoever. And we now we got Hamas, and now we're dealing with these fundamental, uh, fundamentalist terrorists. And how come we're giving money? Of, how come you know Congress is on vacation right now, and and they didn't put a um, a tax or a spending. Uh, a halt on Obamacare, and they're still gaining out money to these uh, to Syria and Iran, these uh, to these uh, terrorist nations who are funding terrorists right now. They should have passed a bill and stop all the spending uh, and stop and, and stop the nonsense under the Constitution. This is a, this is a law under the Constitution that a Congress and a Senate should have done, and they should have passed a bill. They did not do it. Go ahead, Joe Kaufman. Well, you, you, you mentioned that that Congress is on vacation. Debbie Wasserman Schultz is always on vacation. She's never, you know, she's I shouldn't say she's never in her district. She was just in her district recently to protest Hobby Lobby. But most of the time, mm -hmm. uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz is is outside the district in different parts of the country um, as the head of the DNC. Right. Uh, with regards to Israel, you mentioned Israel. That has been out of town with regards to Israel because when she took the DNC job, she right. she went along. She goes along with every single policy from the Obama administration. So when Barack Obama way back when uh, talked about how Israel has to precipitate a, a a peace plan with the Palestinians by uh, moving back to indefensible 1967 borders, Debbie Wasserman Schultz is 
issued a statement uh, saying that she's in favor of of, uh, of that plan to move right. Israel to indefensible, what I call suicide borders for, uh, for Israel, 1967 borders. Uh, when when uh, when Barack Obama was was pushing against tougher sanctions, uh, wanted wanted uh, wanted to stop the tougher sanctions on Iran, wanted to stop Congress from. Mm. I'm voting on a bill for tougher sanctions on Iran because it wanted to uh, continue its negotiation process with Iran that thought it would harm the negotiations uh, with the terrorist nation. Debbie Wasserman Schultz uh, became the, the chief adversary against tighter, uh, tougher sanctions on Iran. She she uh, she pushed Congress to stop that stop the vote. Um, so, with regards to anything that that. Uh, that helps Israel. Debbie Wasserman Schultz is on the other side because all she does is take her marching orders from Barack Obama. She is essentially a puppet for the Obama administration. <laughs> um, and, 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 and no, America should not be giving any money to, uh, to terrorists overseas. Uh, America should not get involved in, in wars where, uh, where, are they, where there are bad players on both sides, but there are terrorists right. on both sides. And clearly in places like uh, Syria, uh, and, and Iraq as well. Uh, you have you have on one side uh, uh, those connected to Al Qaeda, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, mm-hmm. Hamas fighting against uh, you know Assad, uh, Iran, Hezbollah. These are these are bad players. These are terrorists on both sides. That America shouldn't be involved. But the only thing that America should be involved with regards to those to those conflicts um, are, are is to is to protect uh, Christians that are, whose lives are being threatened, mm-hmm. and to and to uh, to secure uh, their their safety, and uh, and, and even uh, for a safe passageway out of out of those areas if they if they need to be taken out of those areas and brought to a place uh, where they can be safe. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's the only involvement that America should have in, in those conflicts. America, otherwise. Not getting any involved in any conflict unless there is a threat to uh, America or American interests abroad. Right. 